riders are improving all the time all the time they need to adapt even if the material is whole season the same but then weather change uh, trails change all the time we are trying to improve the things to perfection that the riders feel really comfortable and safe on the bike now close collaboration with sponsors is really important for both sides we want to have the best material because we raise the highest level of the races sponsors for production wants to have our feedback that they can improve this material which will be the best on the world fastest and safest now uh, it's really important for us to work closely with the riders uh, we do test cams like mainly before the season where all the riders come together with us when we're testing new products but also throughout the season at races we are looking for feedback from the riders and looking for detailed information how product is developing and how things are feeling for them to give feedback to our engineers and that's why our relationship and working with them really close throughout the whole year is really important for us. The first year of the collaboration with the Urban Enduro team, uh, I am to say that uh, I am very proud uh, to, to collaborate with, uh, with them. With every feedback uh, we received from the, the riders, we, uh, we are able to improve a lot uh, the shoes and the set. Just go for uh, one recovery ride. Uh, we are here at the iconic um, Finale Ligure Trail. It's a DH man. We used to race every year. Um, unfortunately, not this year. Here used to be like both sides, a lot of people. But uh, with this year's situation, it's not gonna be the same. Let's say so. But anyway, we are here and we still enjoy those trails. Um, the trails didn't change. Uh, the bikes are still fun to ride and yeah, let's see what the weekend brings. El tener un contacto directo con los sponsors del equipo es, es una opción muy buena. Sabes que tienes detrás a, a grandes marcas que te van a apoyar y van a hacer lo posible para que el producto que ellos nos dan sea lo, lo más parecido a lo que estamos buscando para poder funcionar mejor en las World Series. Estuvimos trabajando en Lousa con la gente de Fox para tener una buena base de partida y luego el resto del año hemos ido conociendo cómo se comportan las suspensiones y en función del terreno que había íbamos haciendo pequeños ajustes sobre esa base para adaptarla. Wait for this one. Agrono calada, eh? It seems so good when you imagine how you would ride, but then when once you ride it, it's like <laughs> no. This is this will be good. It's not that flat, so not be nice ride. Completely, um, I would 
say uh, mandatory to to watch the GoPro because uh, it's only one run of practice. If you want to be fast, I mean it's not as if you ride the trail two or three times, but you can remind you the the fast section, the dangerous section. Well, to me it's helped a lot. And so we will find, uh, I will say, two race in one race. <laughs> because in the morning you have two downhill run, and in the afternoon you have two XSC run, which is really physical. So it's going to be uh, super, super hard. And... Uh, Pero tío, no te quejes. Si con el 5 J no pasa nada. ¿Tú qué pasa? ¿Tienes pasito o qué? Qué cabrón. En la pierna. <laughs> Porro, tío. La, estaba así, la he visto y dicho, ¿cómo? Mira, esta es la línea y el viejo zorro está aquí. La línea de la vida. It's early start, long day, waiting, so should be good. Yes, EWS season it's over, but uh, it's not over for the uh, Orbea Enduro team because we're going to do some content at the end of the year. Also, we're still going to race. We still have some race uh, planned with the, with the team. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we will keep you posted and uh, keep watching us.